So since we've now introduced this offset uh, parent matrix attribute, we, we need a way to visualize the data that's in there. So if you look here, you'll see that when we show all attributes and then I filter for offset parent matrix, you'll see the new attribute. And up till now, most uh, matrices are not exposed in the attribute editor but you would come here and you could see their values by mousing over this and you see the evaluation of what that value is. If you wanted to see the decomposition of those values and understand what those values mean as translations, rotations, scales, you would have to create a separate node called a decompose matrix node. And then you would drive these values in here, you would hook them up to the input matrix, and now you would be able to see, oh, okay, those values are, you know, zero translate, zero rotates, zero, uh, ones for scales and zeros for shears. So that, that's one way to see it. And this is typically here how you would see the raw values of the matrix. So that's not particularly convenient. So what we wanted to do was create a new widget that lives in the attribute editor to see the values that live in there. So if we pop open the attribute editor, you'll see that under transform offset parent matrix, you now see a new matrix widget. And the new matrix widget has two tabs. One tab is the raw matrix values of this, whatever matrix it is viewing, which it currently is viewing the transform offset parent matrix. The other tab shows the decomposition of it. It's labeled composition because I can also edit these values. I can put in a value of one for translation. And so I'm now composing a matrix. You'll see that that one now shows up over here. I can also edit in matrix view. And when I come back, those changes are represented and they're decomposed back into the translate. So this composition tab is effectively, you know, decomposition or recomp or, or composition, depending on which direction you're going, whether you're modifying something or viewing it. So it's a nice dual purpose thing. Now, the other thing we can do is we can come in here and we can put a few values in here. Let's put two in here and, and then I'll put a small rotation. So he's kind of started rotating about that point. But what you'll notice is I can, from any editable field here in either tab, if you right click, you see some common matrix operations. One is called set matrix identity and the other one is called inverse matrix. So let's start with inverse matrix. So if your values are populated and you say inverse matrix, it inverts the current matrix. All right, so you'll notice that if you keep toggling it, that just goes back and forth because that there's only one solution to, in, to invert uh, these matrices. And you can also invert from this side as well. Same results, right? You're just seeing the decomposition of it. The other thing we can do is we can say, hey, let's set this matrix to identity. And what matrix identity means is here, when I set matrix identity, you'll see you have ones on the diagonal and everything else is zero. And what that looks like in a decomposition is it zeros out your translations, it zeros out your rotations, it puts one for scale and zeros for shear. So that's a really nice way to kind of reset one of these matrices and get back to where it belongs. And you'll also notice that if you invert a identity matrix, you get identity. So it doesn't move because the inverse of identity is identity. It's kind of like one times one is one. So the other way we can use this is, you know, you noticed earlier, I showed you the decomposition to view these values. So one thing that's nice is if this guy is hooked up to another value, you can see if I plug this world matrix here, into the offset parent matrix. Now, as I modify his world matrix, you see those values appear here. So you see the decomposition of this matrix on the fly, even when it's connected. So you get all the scaling and shear translation rotation information is available to you.